Hello everyone, this is Steve Sims here, back on playing on Midwest Horizons. Today, we got some baling to do. So we'll head over to the baling field. It's We gotta pick up the straw that we harvest the wheat, put it down for straw, and now we gotta make some money because our bank account's running a little low. So we gotta make some money and put it in the bank so we can keep this farm running. We'll take our old power stroke down to the field. I'm gonna have to fill this uh, trailer up with fuel. It's not very useful. About some diesel fuel in it. We'll do that at another time, right? Though, because our tractors are already down there and filled up with fuel. We ended up taking them down there last night because thought we were going to get started. Didn't end up doing that. Our cornfield over there to the side has the weeds growing in it. We're going to have to get to spraying too today. We're going to have to burn off them weeds. We'll get into our 7240 here. So, I'm going to do a really quick tutorial of this, so let me know if you need something more in depth. I play with course play a lot, so we don't need that. So we already have this course loaded. It's in Calvine. The only trick is we did two pieces of equipment, two combines were harvesting at the same time. So they're harvesting down the same breadcrumb track. If I activate this, if you see, just think of course play as leaving little breadcrumbs. You can see it goes around and around, then the little breadcrumbs. But you see that's in the center of these two swaths here. That's because there's two separate combines harvesting. So we have, we're going to go to the left. The only issue is, is this doesn't read it the same as a combine header. This reads it as uh, the width of the pickup head on this baler. We have to move it over slightly. Don't know exactly what it'll be at. We'll start at 6 and experiment from there. So once you load course play, as long as you don't change it, it's the left click the mouse, it brings up this screen. This is the field works button here. Push that. You can generate your course here. We'll, we'll do a more in a tutorial there. But we're just going to change the starting point to first waypoint. And they were off. So it's going to go to the first waypoint and then go over. Starts up the baler. Uh, we initially started off uh, spreading the straw so we're gonna have to ride with the baler slight healer so I think he's a little bit too far over we're gonna move him over slightly you see this box right there that's where the it's showing that it needs to be aligned with and if you're looking at the spread width we're a little bit too far we're gonna go over to five Maybe slightly over from there. I think that might be good. We'll try there. Right around this corner here, we started uh, engaging the, the wind roll, the combine. So this baler is actually going to have to run this course twice. So course play is definitely good for bailing because you can't hire the hired hand if you want to bail. So 
so now we go in the center. Oh, we almost got it perfect there. We might be slightly over. I think I'm gonna go over one tenth. We're gonna call that good. The thing I like about course play, especially for video making, you can definitely get better angles. Uh, it just looks more realistic while I'm playing it. So. Looks like our combine missed a sliver over there. It's okay. Wasn't too big a yield loss. I do love these Magnum older version tractors. I can't even don't even know the hours I put into a 7140. Many, many hours. We're also going to get the stacker wagon to run this course for us, too. I do love these Massey Furs and Balers. They definitely make some good Balers. That's one of the things. Massey first and definitely has nailed down a few balers that they have. Ran a small square Massey first and baler for many, many years. I think we're right around the first pass with this baler. And then we will have to get the stacker running. Just want to get enough distance in between. So the stacker won't run the same speed as this baler, just for a big square baler never has to stop. So. is one thing I'm going to change. I forgot to change it earlier. Again, got to change that from first waypoint to nearest waypoint. So I usually up the capacity of the square balers just because in straw you definitely get a lot of bales. And sometimes it's hard for the stacker to have enough time with the each, uh, I guess, tray, it would be called, or bed, that it flips it up and stacks it into the next stack area. So we'll go over to stacker. We got an old reliable 4955. My opinion, one of the best old iron tractors made. So this is also going to be slightly different. So if you fold this out, 
you see the pickup is to the side there so it's going to have to be slightly more than the other so you want the worker mode here so this is worker this is planting this is a uh, grain cart mode this is a uh, unload the uh, combine and haul back to the bin or another site and this is a uh, grain cell mode so we'll go to 41 we need to load that switch that to the left sorry this is going to be a really quick tutorial so we also need to load this course the important part of this course is we need to load it as a secondary so we click that just the plus so we'll get him driving and you see he needs moved way over so that actually looks pretty good so we also need to change his speed because he's going to need, we'll probably keep him going faster until we get to the bales though. Because he's going to need more time between the bales for the stacker to work properly. And this usually works pretty good. I've had a lot of success with the, the Anderson DLC pack stackers. So. So it looks like this bale got slightly kicked. So I don't know. Oh, that's might be good it's not a good assessment of timing and everything we might get to stack at this speed it's like we are we need to move it over a little bit I'll wait until after we make this turn Yeah, I didn't think we are going to be able to hit that bale there. Yeah, we, looks like move it over here. There we go. Now we get to watch this stacker in action. So, I'm really surprised it's keeping up. Seems like the speed is good and everything with it. Definitely will make some good money off straw bales off here. We ended up getting a really good yield off this field too. Going around the outskirts. This may be an issue coming up here. Yeah, we missed that bale. Kind of figured we would. That was where we unload the baler. Change the capac capacity of it.
appears we only have two more bales. We're full. We get to watch it as it makes its way to the unload point. So it started, maybe it hasn't, it's getting lined up. So now it'll start running towards the unload point. I forgot when this thing runs, it runs with the arm down. So hopefully we don't hit anything with the arm. Of course the place still doesn't have that fix where it it folds the arm up to transport mode. So it appears we're still doing good. And now course play is sell the bales. See how much we make off this. Uh, Ten thousand, but there's a lot of loads to be sold. And we will let him be. We'll jump back into our truck because we got to go back and start spraying some fields. That's the one issue with uh, when course play is running because it follows that path there, which it just followed, which the bales aren't picked up. So what he's doing, he's going, the course play is going from headlands to up and down rolls, or the normal AV line, which when it's running to the first A B line it runs into the bales because it's following the same path it was when it was bailing. jump into our sprayer here so we got a pull type hardy sprayer here roll addition unfold the boom. Not sure if cotton allows you to spray it when it's in harvest, ripe, or not. We'll see. Here's that's a no. I guess that's, we were testing out the sprayer there, making all the nozzles worked. So we'll go to the field behind our farm up here.
Got some sunflowers to spray over here. Do a quick coarse crate here. And we're off. So it seems like our, yep, our sunflowers are just starting to head. I think. Let me stop him quickly. This needs to be raised. There we go. We definitely missed the weeds when we should have sprayed this. So definitely probably hurt the yield of the sunflowers here. I think we'll call this field the back 40. Good name. So this map is pretty flat, but we definitely got some of the more, let's say, ground contour changing fields in it. We got this stream that runs by this field. So I'm sure we have some erosion issues. Should be a good crop of sunflowers here though. Does anybody ever spray weeds in the fields and they end up being flowers? I have never sprayed a field with weeds that are flowers. Always uh, obnoxious looking weeds. Definitely no, I've never sprayed anything that you would probably see in a flower bed. Let's just say that. really do love this uh, hardy sp sprayers here even though pull type sprayers are basically going are non-existent almost they this one is one of my favorites 
means we're starting out this farm just seemed logical to utilize pole type sprayers at first. I'm going to have to fix Oh, I guess he is doing good. What's going on with you? Not sure what was going on with you. My hired hand made a beeline to the tree line. So, if you ever utilize course play, you know that sometimes course play just like usually has a mind of his own. You'll see him off there wandering the tree line, sniffing the flowers. They're never being perfect hired help, let's just say that. Especially a course play is still in beta mode, so you definitely got some quirks to met to deal with. The one thing I can't wait for course play to add is the overload fu function or grain cart function, is what we call it usually in the states. Go back to our sprayer. We'll move on to our cornfield after this. Need sprayed. Definitely going to have to top off the tank before we go over there. How many of you guys play on? Midwest Horizons or do you play on another US map? My favorite maps are always usually the US versions Another one of my favorite maps is Emerald Coast I just love that map because of the, the textures on it and also wind chasers. Don't think wind chaser is fully out. I don't think they've there's still some quirks that need to be uh, figured out first. That map has some beautiful textures on it. So if you watch the hitch on this, it actually steers to follow the same path as the tractor tires. So if you look closely, the hitch is steering, as you see. That way you get less of the iron bug, or what do they call that, the, the iron kill I forget what it's called but basically it means where you run over with your tractor or piece of equipment your crop so a lot of farmers take off the front
front duals of their front wheel sys tractors to have less crop damage if they are cultivating or spraying. really do enjoy this 30 series John Deere is one of my favorite mods the only thing I wish is that one set of duels would have a dirt uh, it would get dirty obviously I think it gets somewhat dirty but it for whatever it's an air or it's a issue with the mod where it always creates doesn't get dirty which can be uh, let's just say an ice war sometimes <laughs> here's our stacker still going Looking at the glance mod up in my top left corner. It's definitely good if you're controlling multiple vehicles to have a glance mod. I think we have a small sliver remaining. That should be it for these weeds. Our sunflowers will no longer be starved of their nutrition, nutrients. And that is it. Well, course play is folding us up, transporting it to the side of the field. We'll save this. Wait a second. I don't know what field we're in. 46? Is field 46? Can't see it. Yep. So we will go and top off our tank, head over towards our cornfield. Now that we got the back 40 done.
quickly generate this course. Plays unfolding here. I had a feeling you were going to do that. Let me raise this before we head off, being our corn is already tasseling should be really using a high boy here sprayer there we go that looks at the right height this is definitely some low tasseling corn we have here looks like some of the corn that tassels around my area. I live in uh, South Carolina so some of the corn sometimes doesn't get to the full height. I know in Ohio they have normal height six to eight foot corn. dry land corn here so this could be the reason why so I think we will end it here so if you don't know I'm new to squad farms here I'm the new content creator so squad found me basically asked me to create content and I was honored to do that for him uh, I usually create a let's play while I'm videoing the time-lapse so I do both so a lot of people just like let's play and some people just like time-lapse uh, that's just what they like so you can either watch either or you can watch both they both give you a different perspective so we will continuously spray we will get the bales cleared off of our big wheat field we need to put some pre-fertilized down on that too and start getting it tilled up to plant some soybeans on it so Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.